So, you got what you want. Perhaps you're the better player among us. However, I must demand you give that to me. Cousin? You must be mistaken, mate. I'll not be giving you anything. <laughs> then I invoke the right of parley. No, no, no parley. Look around. We're a little busy. And besides, I've already got all that I want, mate. Still works. Jack Spada. Are you lost? Prisoners don't belong on deck. Your station is in the brig! <laughs> We're here! Tables have turned, mate. Ah, boy. <laughs> Just a few more maggots to join my crew! <laughs> Hey! 
Care to surrender? The chest! Hand it over! Jack! Stay out of this boy! That's not true. I may still have a lot to learn about love, but I know what it means to share my heart with others. And it will take more than you to break a bond like that. <laughs> what does a whelp like you know about the heart? <laughs> a whelp has seen far more of the world than you know. <laughs> what of it? Tell me, William Turner. <laughs> Do you fear death? Do you? How disappointing. So this is all they meant when they said heart. We've been chasing the wrong box this whole time. Heady tonic. Holding life and death in the palm of one's hand? You're a cruel man, Jack Sparrow. Cruel is a matter of perspective. Is it? Save him? Part of the ship, part of the crew. The Dutchman must have a captain. Oh. Elizabeth, say goodbye.
Thank goodness, Jack. The Armada's still out there. The Endeavor's coming up hard to starboard. And I think it's time we embrace that oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Never actually been one for tradition. In we go! Hmm. It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business. Flying Dutchman must have a captain. Just where do now she and Captain Turner must live in different worlds? One day ashore, ten years at sea. It's a steep price. Well... Your chariot awaits, Your Highness. Mrs. Turner. That was a boss. Take care. Jack. Hmm. Thank you. One day isn't enough time. Well, there's always enough time for hearts to say what's true. Sora, you know better than anyone. It only takes a moment <laughs> to connect with your mates. With your hearties. Hmm. There's always enough time. And I'm going to find them. Axel? Huh? 
Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. Mm hmm. So, you gonna try yours on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe later. But you always wear the same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is how you pick me out of a crowd. I make myself easy to remember. How thoughtful. Huh? Oh, nah, not really. <laughs> Our training's almost finished. Yeah. Somewhere inside me is Naminé. If we can free Roxas, we can free her too. I guess so. Naminé was made when Sora freed me from his heart. So, now that she's a part of me again, I figured all was right. But she can't look at this forest. Feel the wind on her face. None of it. And if she could, it would be different for her. Her time was short. But she lived it, and that makes it hers. What right did I have to take those feelings and experiences back? They don't belong to me. Nothing's as it should be. Not for her or Roxas. I know. Way back when I was a kid, I met this other weird kid. Somehow we became fast friends. Never saw him again, nearly forgot about him too. Then, I met Roxas. Couldn't believe it. The two of them were identical. Oh, I didn't tell Roxas. Didn't want him to go vanishing on me too. The kid's name was Ventus. He's one of the lost Keyblade wielders we're looking for. Think he's still got me memorized? Oh yeah, very memorized. <laughs> now that we're going back, I'm worried about everything. Well, you don't have to worry alone anymore, Axel. It's about time! Uh, hey, uh, shut uh, it! Uh, oh, come on!
What now? Please, I have created enough victims. Yes, you have. All of the children sacrificed in the name of your research. So make things right. I told you I did not take her. Her disappearance was why I put a stop to the research. And that makes you honorable? You used Roxas and Namine and threw them away. I doubt there's a merciful bone in your body. You took the girl and hid her. Now show me the data you are hiding here. Roxas and Namine. If there is any reason that I still draw breath, it is to atone for what I did to them. <gasps> he said Roxas. Yeah. That man needs us. Right. Yeah. If you do find the girl, what is it that you expect will happen? The child's memory holds a mystery to unravel. One concerning the battle we seek between light and darkness. You know something, and that is why you stopped the experiments. You are completely deluded, Xehanort. We shall soon see. <laughs> yoo <-hoo! clears throat> uh. Excuse me! Who are you? Oh, well, I'm looking for a friend who used to live here. No one lives mm. here. Be gone! Um, but, sir... No, 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 not one more step! Get out! Uh, this uh, way! Oh. <laughs> hey, loser! The squiggly uh. things? They... protected me. Uh, Hainer, get a move on! Oh, okay. I serve the organization. This is treason. <laughs> I see what is happening. Have it your way, then. Think. <laughs> Nobody knows the twists and turns of Twilight Town better than us. You are Roxas's friends. That's right. So you know him too? Oh yes, quite well. Pay dirt. Guess it was worth staking out the old mansion after all, because this guy here is what I call a lead. That's the only proof we have that Roxas was our friend. Tell us about him. We want to know him better. My dear master, <coughs> you are safe. Who's there? Evan, is that you? So, those nobodies were your doing. Uh, 
I have been waiting for this. Gave up a normal life in order to plant myself in the organization. And when I heard Xehanort had gone looking for you, I realized it was my chance to find you as well. For you see, I too wish to atone. Mm. 